P-I-Z-Z-A. La sole ami. Pizza. I'm Shane Torres, and this is the show where chefs take ordinary food and bring it up to the next level. I'm here in Williamsburg outside of Emmy Squared. Today, my friends Matt and Emily are gonna make up a regular traditional Detroit style pizza and then something else that Chef Matt's got going called a burger pie. This is how good can it get. Let's go inside. Hey, hey friends, how, how are you, good neighbors? To see you. It's been and we good. I know it's been a bit. How are you, man? Good to see you, man. How are you guys? Great. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us here. Mm -hmm. What made you guys decide to bring Detroit style pizza to like what many people consider the mecca of the pizza world? I mean, honestly, our favorite style of pizza to eat together over the years has been square pizza yeah. cooked in pans, like grandma or Sicilian for style sure. yeah, pies. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so when we were thinking about the sister concept to Pizza Loves Emily, and it was sort of this backdoor learning about Detroit style pizza, and it was like, oh, that's actually what we're making. You kind of stumbled it. We did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then it was, it was like, a, yeah, okay, exactly. let's drill down and really learn about this and perfect it for ourselves and for our fans. Fantastic. How did y'all meet? Uh, we met in college. I was Matt's RA. <laughs> you're, <laughs> yep. you're native New Yorker, so you both come back here. We came back to the city in 2004 so that Matt could go to culinary school. And we yep. always knew we wanted to open a restaurant. Oh, together. really? Okay. And the yeah. Space opened up in my life, and he was like, you know what? Let's and do you were it already now cooking. or yeah. never. Yeah. And yeah. the rest is history. Yep. So. And was a pizza from the start, or were yeah. you? Yeah, it's pizza. Amazing. So, um, can I have some pizza? <laughs> um, you got it. <laughs> yeah. If you're lucky. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, can you tell us what we're going to be making today? Uh, we're making two pizzas today. Okay. Uh, we have a classic pizza, which is some cheese, sauce, and uh, dough. So okay. it's very simple, but yeah. very delicious. And then we have another pizza we have where it's our burger deconstructed onto the pizza. Yeah, so it's it gets, really good. Yeah. It gets dirty. Yeah. But that it gets dirty. Is... <laughs> I like that. That's my line you stole. <laughs> All right, you stay here and we're going to go make you a regular okay. pie. All right. Let's see what Shane thinks of our classic Emmy squared pizza. Here's our dough. It's nice and airy right now. It's been proofing 24 hours in the pan. It's a little bit lighter, uh, it's easier to eat. We have our mozzarella right here. It's a mix of part skin and whole milk mozzarella. It's low moisture. Um, I like the blend of the two types of uh, cheeses with the skim and the whole milk. The skim is a little bit tangier. It kind of has a classic New York pizza flavor to it, and the whole milk makes it like, rich and creamy and pulls really nicely. We put it all on the, on the pan, all the way out to the edge, so the cheese will crisp along the side of the pan, which is one of the key features of Detroit pizza. So next we have our sauce. We use Jersey tomatoes, so they're local, which I think is very important. So when we put the sauce on the top, the underneath dough doesn't get soggy or gummy. All right, so we have our mozzarella and tomato sauce. So now the last bit is pecorino. Um, the pecorino is uh, very important to me as a chef. Um, when I was young, I'd go to my grandmother's house and she'd always use pecorino. My mother would always use Parmesan and I like the pecorino flavor better. And I would never tell my mother that, but you know, <laughs> now she knows. But pecorino goes on almost every dish that we have in the, in the company. Don't be shy about it. Classic, simple, perfect, and time to cook it. I like using the convection conveyor belt oven for this style of pizza. The pizza needs to cook for a lot longer than a wood-fired pizza, so we need an oven that's a cooler temperature. All right, it's been nine minutes. It's coming out of the oven right now. Take it out of the pan. These pans are nicely seasoned, so this cheese does not really stick to them that much. So you get the nice cheesy crust. And then we're gonna slide it out right onto the cooling rack. We put it on a cooling rack so there's nice airflow underneath. If you put a pizza straight on a plate or on a metal tray, it'll get soggy underneath. So as a professional chef, I decided that this was just an insane way to, to serve pizza, getting it soggy. So I put it on a cooling rack to make sure it stays crispy all the time. All right, now it's time to cut it and be ready to serve. There we go. And that's how we make our Emmy squared pizza. Pizza. Who's back? It smells incredible. Yeah. yeah. So what makes it Detroit style pizza, which I'm sure you're curious to know, mm -hmm. is <laughs> a few qualities. And one of them is this really fried cheesy edge, which is called the Frico crust. And what's really unique about Detroit style pizza is that the sauce goes on in these two parallel stripes down the length of it, as opposed to underneath the cheese. All right, why don't we all dive in? 
Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. All right. All right. So. Cheers. Yeah. Oh, look yep. at that. Yeah, yeah, look wow. at that. Yeah. Cool. There we go. Look mm. at that. Yeah. That's so, right. So. <laughs> Jesus. See, look, this is what I do, right? Yeah, you go back. Oh. Yeah. I'm a, I'm mm. a, I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> In the corner has that perfect little congregation of all the cheese that's really like fried itself against the um, the pan in the yeah, oven. Yeah, so you're getting so, two, you're getting two double like you a, would from a center slice yeah, on, it's the, like on, a the, on the fried on the pre-cooked crust. Huh, yeah, it's the best spot, the money yeah. spot of the pizza. Six years now, not sick of it at all. I, don't, I can't yeah. blame you. <laughs> so this is delicious, rich, flavorful, all the textures you were talking about. So tell us what you're gonna do next, chef. Yeah. Uh, we're doing the burger pizza. So we got our beef, our special sauce. American cheese. American cheese. Pickles. Pickles and lettuce, yeah. yeah. It's, it's Same crust. Same crust. Well, I can't wait to see it, man. Let me get this out of the way. And <laughs> <laughs> All right, well Shane loved our regular pizza, so let's see what he thinks of our burger pie. We're gonna start with the same dough we had before. A nice shredded mozzarella all the way out to the edge. And since it's a burger pie, we're gonna add some American cheese too. This is a grass-fed beef from Pat Lafreda. I have a burger patty on here, it's time to cook. All right, this is done, nine minutes in the oven. Time to finish it off. This is coming out of our nicely seasoned pans. Blue steel pans made in Port Huron, Michigan. Nice crunch through. It's our bread and butter pickles. It comes from the pickle guy in uh, the Lower East Side. And we have some lettuce, because, uh, you know, it's healthy. Shred this on. And our special sandy sauce. Burger sauce on everything. There we go. You know, I, I like to play with fun toppings at this restaurant, and uh, our burger is very popular here. So I decided, why not have our two most popular items, the pizza and the burger, put together. We don't really have it on the menu, but people can order it if they want to. So it's kind of a special in the know. If you're here, you know about it, you can definitely order it. Let's go give it a taste. Round two, my friend. Oh, thank you. The dirty pie. Jesus. So you got a burger in pizza form here. You got the sauce all on top, your lettuce, your pickles, and then you can see the ground beef all over it with the American cheese. So uh, tell me about the sauce. It's a spicy sambal aioli called Sammy sauce and it's named for one of our chefs, Sammy, over in the original location who makes almost all the burgers every single day. Yeah. Oh, that's so, cool. We have his own sauce yeah, 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 yeah. His legacy will forever be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's just flooding the air with aroma. It looks beautiful. It's more color, which I love. Yeah, why don't we all take a bite? All right, sounds yeah. good. Oh, I'm excited yeah. for there this. There you go, chef. Oh, you got the nice little. Yeah, I got a little runoff here. <laughs> <laughs> there, thanks, man. Mm. Oh my god. Tastes like burger, right? Mm. Mm. Go pizza. Oh, my favorite part might be is the zest I'm getting from the pickles when I bite in. It's yeah. almost like, yeah, you don't expect it like that. It cuts through the fattiness of the cheese. Yeah, are these mm -hmm. butter pickles? Mm -hmm. The bread and butter pickles? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Fresh. <laughs> mm. This is so good. I like this pizza a lot. Oh. Well, yeah, and then a lot of people too. do. We're here in your Williamsburg location, mm -hmm. but you guys are. In what, 90 other cities now? Almost. <laughs> 89. <laughs> Brooklyn, Manhattan, um, and then Nashville, and then we're the official pizza of City Field as well. That's amazing. Yeah, we have yeah, three concessions there. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys eat this every day? I mean, kind of. I try, I try. If I don't, I feel upset if I don't. No, you I try to. Yeah, that's <laughs> But yeah, no, what's interesting is Matt got sick of pizza before I did at the original location, which is how the burger wound up coming onto the menu. He wanted to make something that's that wasn't way. pizza <laughs> yeah. that he could yeah. eat, and then that turned into its own thing, and so now it's evolved into pizza with burger. It's dirty. It's dirty. It's dirty. <laughs> We can't thank you guys enough for having us in and making the time. We know how busy you are. Oh, thank so, you. Yeah, I appreciate Thanks for coming it. in. Uh, I'll come back and see you real soon, I promise. Please, Please do. do. All right, thanks, guys. <laughs> Matt and Emily are the best. I couldn't be happier that they decided to share their pizza with us today. If you're ever in my old neighborhood in Brooklyn, stop by Emmy Squared and get a pie. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'm Shane Torres, and this was How Good Can It Get?